cat scratch disease is the topic and essentially cat scratch disease is something that involves domesticated cats because they are oftentimes reservoirs for a very specific bacteria and that bacteria has a special name and that is Bartonella hensley and Bartonella hensley is a gram-negative rod rods are also um, referred to as bacillus or bacilli and this bacteria is transmitted from a flea to a cat and then later humans are infected and they are infected either from a cat scratch which is the most common way and sometimes a cat bite and most of the time it's children now what is the symptomatology of cat scratch disease well it usually occurs after about three to ten days uh, after the bite or the scratch and essentially what you have is a papule and that papule will be red erythematous and it will occur at the site of the scratch now that doesn't seem very big of a deal but in addition in the local area you will have lymphadenopathy swollen lymph nodes and these lymph nodes will be firm and they will also be tender now in a lot of patients with uh, the symptomatology as uh, I have just described in addition you'll also have fever and other symptoms such as fatigue now if you do suspect this what kind of diagnosis would you do well there's really two main things the first is a simple blood test to detect the antibody and in particular what we're looking for is trying to detect the antibody to the Bartonella hensley bacteria and that can be shown as a titer usually 1 to 64 is um, characteristic finding in cat scratch disease the next uh, test if necessary is a biopsy of that lymph node that is um, swollen and tender and if you aspirate it it will show the bacilli that are consistent with uh, Bartonella hensley and if you do a um, histopathologic uh, slide the findings are that you will see granulomas now the treatment fortunately this is actually self-limited so because it's self-limited oftentimes you don't really need to treat it just give you know symptomatic uh, relief with heat and any basic analgesic medication but sometimes you can give antibiotics if you feel that it's necessary if you feel that it's pretty severe and those antibiotics are most commonly used in patients that are immunocompromised for obvious reasons and some of the I'll give two azithromycin is commonly used to treat this and also sometimes doxycycline so now let's take a look at a couple clinical vignettes 50 year old woman comes complaining of a swollen leg swelling began approximately 48 hours ago woman has never had anything like this before on exam, the right lower extremity is 4 centimeters larger than the left with warmth and redness, but no open cuts or lymphangitis. Lymphadenopathy of 1 centimeter is apparent in the inguinal regions bilaterally. Home and sign is negative. On further history taking, you learn that she has two cats at home that spend much of their time outdoors. While contemplating potential infectious cause, you recall that a cat scratch can cause a limb infection, which of the following pathogens is the infectious agent in the disease well they spell it all out for you and they just want to know the name of the bacteria and of course it's Bartonella hensley and last one 33 year old veterinary technician comes to the office because of a two-week history of tiredness loss of appetite and weight loss he tells you that he is usually always on the go and so his colleagues have been noticing his recent lack of energy he does not take any meds does not drink alcohol or smoke currently in a monogamous heterosexual relationship specific job of the veterinary center is to clean the cat cages which he says is not the most desirable job because the cats get angry and territorial 
Temperature is 99, blood pressure is 110, pulse 65, respirations are 16. Physical exam shows a 7 centimeter tender mass in the left axillary fossa and multiple linear lacerations in various stages of healing on both his forearms. Chest x-ray is unremarkable, PPD is placed in the right forearm. Most appropriate next step is, well, these lacerations I'm betting are scratch marks and they're in uh, multiple they're multiple and they're in various stages of healing so these cats that he deals with have been scratching him for a while that's why these lacerations are in various stages of healing he's definitely got a very large uh, swollen mass in his uh, left axilla and he's got all the other symptoms that go along with it with a little bit of a fever so he's most likely got cat scratch disease of the choices listed the best thing to do right now, because it seems pretty severe, and it's 7 centimeters is pretty big, I'd probably do a biopsy. And the biopsy will help you identify the um, bacilli, which is characteristic of Bartonella hensley. And you can also do the histopathologic uh, um, investigation that will show the granulomas. So the answer to this question is A.